With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, if lambda be the ratio of roots of the quadratic equation in x where equation is 3m square x square plus m m minus 4 x plus 2 equals to 0, then the least value of m for which lambda plus 1 upon lambda equals to 1 is k minus 3 root 2, then the value of k is. So, equation given to us is 3m square x square plus m m minus 4 x plus 2 equals to 0. So, this is our first equation which is given to us. Question is saying that lambda is the ratio of the roots of the quadratic equation. So, let us check alpha and beta are roots of the equation. So, these are the roots of the equation. So, according to question, lambda equals to alpha upon beta. So, now we know that alpha plus beta equals to minus b upon a and alpha beta equals to c upon a means the sum of the roots equals to minus b upon a alpha beta equals to c upon a where a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0 is our standard equation. So, according to the standard equation, we can write alpha plus beta is minus b upon a alpha beta equals to c upon a. So, according to the equation given to us, alpha plus beta equals to minus b upon a. So, it means minus m, m minus 4 upon a that is 3m square and alpha beta will be c upon a that is 2 upon 3m square. We can write this as minus m square plus 4m upon 3m square. The condition given to us is lambda plus 1 upon lambda equals to 1. Where lambda equals to alpha upon beta. Let us take it as second equation. Take this as third, fourth. And take this as fifth equation. Now, in the place of lambda, we have to put alpha upon beta. So, alpha upon beta plus here it is 1 upon lambda therefore beta upon alpha equals to 1 if we take lcm it will become alpha square plus beta square equals to 1 take this alpha beta to the right hand side it will become alpha square plus beta square equals to alpha beta now add 2 alpha beta on both sides Therefore, it will become alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta equals to alpha beta plus 2 alpha beta. Right? So, in the place of this, we can write alpha plus beta whole square because it follows the rule alpha a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, we can write alpha plus beta whole square equals to 3 alpha beta. Now, we can replace our value of alpha plus beta and alpha beta. So, minus m square plus 4m upon 3m square and the squaring of this part equals to 3 alpha beta and it is equals to 2 3m square. So, from here, Cancel 3 and 3. Now we will open this. It will become 4m square. It means 16m square. This will become plus m4 minus 8m cube upon 9m4 
equals to 2 upon m square. So if we take m square common, this will become m square minus 8m plus 16 upon 9m4 equals to 2 upon m square. So from here 2 and this will become squaring and this and this will be cancelled out. This 9 will go to the right hand side. Our equation will become m square minus 8m plus 16 equals to 18. Now we can do middle term splitting of these two. m square minus 4m minus 4m plus 16 equals to 18. So from here m will take common. So m minus 4 from here minus 4 will common m minus 4 equals to 18. So it will become m minus 4 whole square equals to 18. m minus 4 equals to plus minus root 18. So m minus 4 equals to 3 root 2 plus minus. So from here value of m will be 4 plus minus 3 root 2. We have to find the least value. So when it will be the least value? When there is negative sign over here. So m minus 3 root 2. So now we have here k minus 3 root 2. So value of k will be 4. If we compare our equation. This is the value of k. So k equals to 4. This is our answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.